hey, good Monday morning, everyone. It is time to talk about the markets with Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And Jim, let's begin with ADP rejecting Bill Ackman's board nominees. Yeah, now I have, I have the CEO on tonight, and I think it's completely realistic they rejected him because it's not doing that badly. It's got a great total share of return. But I do think that the presentation that Ackman put together raises a lot of concerns about margins. I got to find out. I want to sit down and, and talk, talk with Mr. Rodriguez, find out what's really going on because uh, if they can raise margins, the stock could be a very big stock. Uh, and I think that a lot of the suggestions that, that he has, that Ackman has, seem really good. It doesn't necessarily mean they have to be on the board, but I do think that suggestions are good. That interview is tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern on CNBC. Yep. And speaking of Ackman, uh, Herbalife actually held talks to go private. Yeah, now Herbalife, and they, they gave you a contingent right that if something happens, uh, you will make money, which is why I think the stock has passed the, uh, this Dutch tenor they're doing. Um, it's terrible news for Ackman. Um, terrible news because, y you know, if you're short of stock and it goes private, now it's not going private, but if you're short of stock and it does one of these deals, it almost is, you know, assures you of, of having a loss. Now, um, Ackman's tenacious and he will come out, I'm, I presume, if he does, say that this is just more desperate action perhaps, but it is, uh, they couldn't put it, they couldn't make it private. Maybe he can declare that as a victory. Hmm. All right, let's move on to apparel. Nike downgraded at Jeffries. What did you think? The, the, the Nike, the, the Foot Locker uh, yeah. cop score on Nike it w was devastating because it basically uh, questioned the Jordan franchise, mm -hmm. which has produced so much money for Nike. Uh, and it was correct to question because they said that uh, basketball shoes were down double digit, uh, and that's shocking. Uh, well, maybe there's this whole you know generation that's never heard of Michael that's Jordan. Apparently, what right? I, I said in Real Money today, it's yes. a generation that doesn't see the story, doesn't see the narrative of Jordan, and this generation needs to see one before they pull the trigger. All right, on the complete flip side, what a quarter from Estee Lauder. Yeah, Estee Lauder was remarkable, and I think that what people have to know about Estee Lauder, uh, and it's one of the reasons why Alibaba's up again today, mm -hmm. is that the Chinese sales were extraordinary. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I question whether Draghi can really keep rates down, mm -hmm. given the fact that the Italian sales were extraordinary. It's Spain, UK, France, extraordinary. So, I mean, what, what uh, these are obviously, Estee Lauder does not make something you can't live without. But the China numbers are, uh, are are really off the charts, and Fabrizio Freda is an unbelievable executive. He's out of Procter and Gamble, by the way. Well, and that CEO, as you mentioned, on Squawk on the Street, really sounded the alarm on U.S. malls. Yeah, I mean, he basically said, "Look, uh, the 17 percent of their traffic, uh, of their mall, of their department store traffic, is U.S. and it's devastating. Uh, you, you, there's no two ways about it." Now, he did talk about. There's a maybe things could settle down, but I don't know how you get the mall back. It, it, it's very Humpty Dumpty, the mall. Mm. All right, moving on. This Encore saga seems to have settled down with Semper Energy topping yes. Buffett. Now, this is Elliot uh, th that made it so that the Buffett deal didn't close. Uh, and congratulations to Elliott Partners. They did an amazing job. They bring in some, a company that can make a lot of money buying it. Uh, Buffett would have made a lot of money too. You can tell how much Semper is uh, is up today, how much Buffett would have made. So it was a very good decision by Elliott and they're the winner. Um, did you see Intel releasing a new PC chip to go yeah, ahead? Yeah, I'm saying the greatest chip ever. Look, Intel's making a concerted effort against AMD. They're making concerted effort against uh, 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 NVIDIA with the purchase of Mobileye. Uh, I reiterate that I like NVIDIA. I reiterate that I like uh, Broadcom. Uh, actual Earth's Plus holdings. Yes. All right, Jim, let's end as we always do with earnings to watch. We have Salesforce reporting on Tuesday. I think Salesforce can be great. I think that Salesforce, uh, this move onto the cloud is uh, endless and it's now uh, taking on a lot of different proportions beyond tech and financial. Uh, we haven't heard from Benioff in a long time, uh, but I think he will tell a great story. All right, Jim, moving away from stocks for a moment, it was a big weekend for pickling at the Jim Cramer yeah, House. Yeah, I mean, I had a lot of pickles. A lot, I had a lot of uh, cucumbers. Now, it turns out, I made them too sweet and I'm a little depressed uh, because I used a pickling recipe that I shouldn't have. Uh, I, they're good, they're not great. My sauce was great, not good. My sauce was extraordinary. And there I, I a lot of zucchini, a lot of wine, nice amount of cheese. Um, but the tomatoes were extraordinary because what you want to do is you want to use tomatoes that don't have a lot of seeds. And I grew a huge number of yellow cherry tomatoes and that was terrific. The uh, pickles are fine, uh, but they're sweeter than I like. I like sweet and sour, so I misjudge there. And so, I mean, I got 30 jars. I'll get through them. All right, now you know for next year.
Yeah. All right, Jim, we have a solar eclipse today. Everyone's talking about it. Are you making any special m arrangements for Bug and Everest? To yeah, my them? dogs. I don't want my dogs to see it. I got to get them uh, some sunglasses. Now, my daughter is directly under uh, in Oregon. You know, quite an exciting day. Uh, and for us, I mean, it's, I don't know. I Hopefully that the dogs, won. we'll keep the dogs inside. Um, I am so tempted to look at it. It's terrible. Right. I brought some sunglasses. Obviously, that doesn't do the job. I remember going in when I, we had one when I was very little, and we did that pinhole with the pa paper, mm -hmm. and I said, that's ridiculous. I turned around and looked at it, and <laughs> I, I'm seeing fine, but I know that I'm wary that that was when we had an ozone layer. I, they took away that, you know, <laughs> the pollution guys. So um, I don't know, um, but we'll be sure that Bug and Everest, who remember Everest was renamed NVIDIA, <laughs> yeah. and, and Bug was Chevron, and, and he answers to Chevron. <laughs> Jim Kramer, thank you thank so you. much as always. All right, for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.